Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to use pixelart.com. To get started, just click on Start Drawing. You don't need to create an account, so don't worry about it. As you can see, an autosave loaded for me. This is something that it will do, but I'll still recommend that you save your work as well. Uh, however, you'll see my autosave right now. I'm going to hit Continue. You can see here's a drawing that I had started a little while ago. I'm going to talk to you about how to create gradients. I'm going to talk to you about how to make layers and all those different things. But to do that, I'm going to get started with a new document. So I'm going to click File and I'm going to go ahead and click New. Now this is most likely the screen you see pop up when you log right in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a 32 by 32 and click OK. Now I have a blank canvas. You'll notice that there's gray boxes here. Uh, those boxes just mean the area is blank and transparent and I'll be able to start adding to it right now. I can see my colors over here. Uh, in my original image I had a gradient. I had that dark, uh, I think it was a blue into pink, and I'm going to show you guys how to create that now. To create a gradient, I have my gradient tool here, but first I need to decide on my colors. I have a lot of default colors over here. Say I wanted to select a blue. I'm going to click down to drop that, and let's transfer it into a green. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on my gradient tool. Click and drag down, and I'll be able to create that nice transition. The next thing I want to show you guys is using layers. And you'll notice that over on the right hand side, you'll see a panel that says layers. There's a little plus sign down here, sort of like your plus sign for your padlet. I'm going to click add layer. Now, you don't see anything happen yet. That's because I haven't drawn anything on the second layer. This is almost like taking multiple transparencies or transparent pieces of paper and putting them on top of each other. The background layer right now that I have has all of this color on, but this is going to be a separate independent layer. So if I draw something on this layer, I'm going to change my color here. Let's go to a darker color. Say I want to make some mountains. If I draw something on this layer and I fill it in, it's going to be independent from the layer behind it. That means I can make it go away or come back. And if I take my eraser and I erase, I'm only erasing the layer that I'm on. That's a pretty cool thing about layers. The other neat thing about layers is if I add another layer, I can add other components independent of the other two layers that I've created. So say I want to have a sun that's behind the mountains but in front of the sky. What I can go ahead and do is draw my sun. I can fill it and then I can actually move my layer too. So I'm going to go ahead and move that layer down and, and then I can even move it around. I can move that sun between those two layers so all three layers work independently of each other. And that's really cool if you want to create an animation. <clears throat> if you look at the bottom, total bottom of your screen here, you're going to see GIF frames. If I want to create another frame, let's see, I'm going to get my sun all the way down here. I'm going to copy my frame, and now I have a second frame. I'm going to move my sun up a little bit, hit copy, move my sun up again, copy, sun up again, copy, sun up, copy, and I will we'll let my sun stay right about there. Now, if I click preview, I can see my sun rising. And that is a very, very quick introduction to using some of the tools in pixel art. Thanks.